Hey everybody, David Shapiro here. Um, I had an idea. So I posted on Reddit and also the, um, the uh, OpenAI forum this idea because people keep asking me um, if I will consult and I don't want to consult uh, for paid gigs. Um, mostly I just want ideas. Uh, that's how I, you know, solving tough problems is how I learn. And uh, so I had this idea, send me your GPT-3 pro or your GPT problems, I'll solve them for free and make a YouTube video. Uh, so basically I said, okay, you know, what problems do you want me to solve? Um, and this guy, Story Ghost AI, I said, I would be interested in a GPT-3 generated actionable feedback or constructive criticism at the stylistic level, not spell check or grammar mistakes. My use case is for fiction writing, but any type of writing would do. For instance, if the original sentence is, he was super in love with her, like a lot, the ideal GPT-3 completion would be something like, provide an example that shows the depth of his love instead of just telling the reader. Um, also, the writing comes across as informal with the word like. Okay, so basically looking for a, a prose editor or a line editor um, or copy editor. Uh, so I was like, yeah, let's do it. Before I get too far in this video, I do have to warn you that um, I'm about at my quota. Uh, because I've been making these videos like crazy, and I was like, where did all this money go? Because um, I was looking at this, and it's like, okay, you know, $26, $32, $40, $50, $60, $70. Then I jump up to $114, and then up to $157. So I was like, where did I use all this money? Um, turns out the novel writing fine-tuning job was a $40 job. Oops. So... Um, I got to cool it off for a week until um, the billing cycle ends, um, and I will pick this up in June. However, in the meantime, I wanted to at least show you what I've done so far, and um, unfortunately, I didn't document the whole process because I was kind of multitasking um, while, while coding this up, but it is available online. If you just go to um, Creative Writing Coach, so our uh, GitHub slash Dave Schapp slash Creative Writing Coach, all, the, all of it will be up here. Um, actually, let me go ahead and just uh, CD Creative Writing Coach, get status, get add, um, get commit AM, um, ready for plebs to use. Ha, you're all plebs. Get push. Okay. Okay, so it's all updated for y'all to use, um, but let me show you how it works and if you if you want to spend some of your hard-earned tokens, please feel free to uh, to run this. Um, okay, so here's the repo. Uh, so where I started was download writing prompts. So if you go to this subreddit, um, r slash writing prompts, this is a really great way to get amateur writing. Oh, whoops, we don't want it in JSON format. Um, so r slash writing prompts is someone will give you a writing prompt and then everyone replies with like a short story, right? And so the top level comment is pretty much always a short story and it's written by someone on the internet. Um, so in order to satisfy this idea, like um, rather than use GPT-3 to generate synthetic data, I was like, let's get real world data because human mistakes are gonna be very different from GPT-3 mistakes. You can ask GPT-3 to make mistakes, but it's gonna make the same kind of mistakes over and over again. Whereas if you crowdsource it and you get you know um, stuff from different people, you're gonna get different formats, different ideas. Some people respond with poems, short stories, story fragments, um, scenes, you know, whatever. You're gonna get a lot more variety. So what I did was I wrote this script, um, which was just I copy, I bashed a bunch of a uh, bunch of other scripts together. So all I did was get top posts. So I look for the last month of writing prompts, get the top posts, um, download the top level comments for each one, and I saved that out to a folder called Stories. And so I've got 388 stories in here um, of varying lengths. The shortest one I think is a poem. Yep. And then the longest one is 10 kilobytes. Um, so this is. Uh, 10,000 characters long. So that's, you know, uh, that's going to be what? About 2,000 words. So that's still flash fiction. Um, okay, so I downloaded a whole bunch of stories. And then what I did was, well, first I needed to, um, I forgot to exclude bots and short stuff. So what I, I, I went and removed the stuff that we don't want because you don't want to fine tune on bot data. 
Um, okay, so then what I did was I wrote a prompt. So here's what the prompt does. And I've started splitting it out into more granular steps. Um, so the prompt, well here, let me just show you what the prompt does. I can spend some tokens on this so at least you can see what we're talking about here. This prompt does not work on anything other than DaVinci. Um, Curie is not smart enough to provide feedback. Um, okay, so let's go grab a story. Let's get one that's about two kilobytes. Um, Cause that's a good, that's a good like bit of flash fiction. Okay, so this prompt says, adopt the persona of a professional creative writing editor. Read the following story and provide detailed feedback to improve the prose. Hold the author to the highest literary standards. Feedback should be open-ended and include examples or suggestions. So then story, and then I add a little demark, and then, um, oh, oh boy, got him style, um, end story. Provide detailed professional editor feedback with suggestions and examples to improve prose. This end has gone through several permutations as I tried it because in some cases it tried to continue the story. Um, in other cases, it just did all sorts of random stuff. But this, this prompt seems to be pretty consistent. So let me show you what it does and we'll do the feedback up to 500. Um, let's see. Okay, it says, it's clear the author of the story is creative and has a good sense of humor. However, there are some areas that could use some improvement. First, the story is very short and feels incomplete. It's possible the author was going for a more concise, minimalistic style, but in general, a more, more development, a bit more development would be helpful. Second, the story is very light on descriptions. Readers are given very little information about the characters or setting. Again, this might be a deliberate choice, but more description would give the reader a better sense of the world and uh, that the characters inhabit. Finally, the dialogue could use some work. In particular, the dialogue between the protagonist and the dancer could be more natural and flowing. As it stands, it feels a little bit stilted and awkward. Overall, this is a fun story with a lot of potential. With a bit more development, it could be even better. Um, yeah, so... Uh, and since it's a relatively short story, let's read it. I had seen them all, the simpler ones like bombers or shooters whose weapons I could absorb with smooth jazz, the scientists who I could convince to lay off their plans by outsmarting them through Beethoven, Bach, Mozart, and the like, the crazy teenagers who I talked off of buildings with Lincoln Park, playing not only in my head but in theirs too in many cases, the guy who poisoned the water of a town, allowing me to listen to the band Poison for a day. That was one of the nicer ones, and the more unusual ones. The gal who wanted to turn the world into some kind of spaghetti monster, forcing me to listen to We we Speak Americano on repeat. Ugh. The twins who I fought with nothing but duets in my ears. You know, fight fire with fire. The businessman who wanted to buy the whole world stopped a series of seminars, podcasts, and TED Talks on finances um, that almost bored me to death. I had seen them all and many more. Nothing could surprise me, I thought. Well, I was wrong. Because while the world's best dancer explains to me their evil plan to make everybody do the twist, I realized there was only one way to stop this madness. I pressed play and let the mental image of elevator doors opening uh, flood through me and prepare for the ultimate dance-off. Opa Gangnam style. <laughs> okay, so yes, definitely a sense of humor. Um, the story is short and feels incomplete. I agree with that. Um, it, 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 this is kind of a dreamlike sequence, and that's okay. Um, you know... It's possible the author was going for a more concise, minimalist style. That is a great assessment of this story. Second, the story is very light on description. Yes. Um, this is So this is what's called narrative summary. The person is just kind of summarizing, you know, alluding to things that have happened um, without providing much detail. Um, but yeah, so I would, I would agree. Give a little bit more description. Um, and that could make the story much richer and more engaging. Um, finally, the dialogue could use some work. Um, yeah, because there really isn't any, um, but you know, having having a little a little pithy repartee um, would be interesting with the final final encounter. Uh, so yeah, I agree with this feedback. If this person were to follow this feedback, I think it would be a really interesting and more impactful story. So there you go. There's the prompt that I wrote. Um, let's see. So prompt generate completions. Let's go out. Um, all right, so download writing prompts. So I downloaded those, those are in the stories. Um, and then I wrote, prepare the prompts. Okay, so what I've started doing is rather than kind of build everything all in one shot, I break it out into smaller and smaller steps so that we can see it all. 
So prepare prompts, this is a really short script. It runs in less than a second. And all it does is read all the stories and, and backfill the prompts. And so if you look here, the prompts are each of the stories and it just fills in the blanks so that we can check it before it runs just to make sure it looks right. Um, and then provide detailed professional feedback with suggestions in the format of a complete paragraph. I actually need to rerun this. Let me show you how fast it runs because I updated the, uh, the prompt. Python, uh, prepare prompts. And you see it runs in less than a second, reload it. And all it does is change professional editor feedback with suggestions example to improve prose. So um, we've gotten that far, prepare the prompts. And then um, I have a, another folder called completions. So I ran a few of them and you can see what they, uh, so the completion is here. Um, consider opening the story with a strong image of abandoned factory town to set the tone, the descriptions of the town town's decline could be more concise. There we go. A lot of those hard K sounds. The story of Rusty Joe could be elaborated to make it more engaging. Um, the ending could be stronger and more unsettling. So those, those are kind of general feedback. Um, but some of them are still there. Uh, and so then in order to fully populate that, what we're going to need to do is run the um, generate completions uh, uh, script. And so this is, this is where the rubber meets the road. Um, just have a couple of basic functions for opening and saving. I have another function for the GPT-3 completions, and this will actually need to be switched back to DaVinci 02. I'm not going to run it because I'm going to run out of quota, um, so I do apologize. Um, but yeah, then all it does is it just loads those prompts, um, runs it through the completion, and then saves it out to a file, and that's that. Um, after that, um, all you got to do is run the format JSON-L, which it will go through um, the prompts, look for a file, and then it will grab that and then pair it with the um, with the uh, its commensurate um, completions file because they have the same name. Um, so that way it's just easy. You match one to one. It'll create the JSON L, and then there will be a fine tune script. Um, but again, I have spent so much on this that I am going to have to wait until my quota resets um, in a week. Okay, so with all that, I do apologize. I did want to go ahead and get this out because it was a really cool idea. Um, but if anyone else just takes this and runs with it, please post results um, and, uh, and let me know. Um, otherwise, sit tight and we'll come back to this in a week. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe and uh, tell a friend.